All right, what's up, guys? So, in this video, I'm going to show a bunch of different ways, or at least a few different ways, to get your PS4 controller working. For a second row, on PC, and you can tell all I got to do is move my controller around, so you know it's about to happen. Whenever you start the game, yeah. So this uh, kind of makes it just very shitty to play. So uh, let's stop it. Go to Steam. Right click on Sekiro Shadows Die Twice in your library. Go to your library, right click, edit Steam controller configuration. See how that's a mouse? You want it to be none. Also, The joystick. You just want the joystick to be move. If this is also joystick mouse, you'll get a mouse cursor uh, popping up on your screen a lot whenever you play. And if that doesn't work, you can also go up here because uh, some people, if your controller is not showing up right, you won't have the uh, ability. It just it won't work. So you have to make sure your uh, controller is connected. And something like that will happen. Hey, all right, there we go. But yeah, sometimes it, it's just not showing up. So you want to go up to Steam, go to Settings, down to your controller, Big Picture Configuration, and you also want to make sure that that is not a mouse cursor. That does nothing. Yay! Alright, now if that doesn't work... You can also... Get a big picture. Click that. Make it go faster. Tro uh, yeah, controller configuration. You know, you want your PlayStation if it's not working correctly even after you do all these fixes turn PlayStation configuration support off and then get the hell out of here then if you have DS4 Windows if not I'll put a link in the description on or yeah, yeah. Link in the description on uh, where to download it. But uh, you can just use DS4 Windows controllers. But uh, you shouldn't need DS4. And you can do one or all of these fixes, like, try it several different ways. I just don't recommend using DS4, Windows, and, uh, and or Input Mapper at the same time. But Input Mapper is another way to fix it.
All right, look at that. No more fucked up camera, but if that's still not working. I don't know why I went back into here. Maybe because I want to turn that back on. So say you don't like the Xbox. Just fuck Xbox. Exit. And then same thing. Now we're going to use DS4 Windows. So whenever you open up DS4 Windows, make sure that your controller is showing up. And you're going to go over here to edit. And you don't want to, yeah, you want to change these to unassigned. Just uh, make sure they don't work. That's it. Okay, it gives you a warning now. That's new. Oh, Moses. Okay, so if your camera is slow as shit like that. Uh, you can turn your sensitivity up. Over here. A little bit better, but uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit better without a uh, DS4 Windows. Go away. Oh. And for that reason right there is why sometimes this doesn't work. Yep. Huh. Actually, I think there's a way to stop the camera from moving uh, from moving super slow like that as well. Again, controller settings. Make it pretend it's a fucking Xbox controller. As a last resort, exit a big picture. And then you can even ruin this too. Even if that is a mouse. If you only have that uh, Xbox configuration support selected, go back into. Oh no, wait, no. You don't need to edit it at all. Not at all. Alright, last time I'm opening this game up. And I also thought that that warning wouldn't pop up if it thought it was an Xbox controller. Do 
And boom. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I fucked my buttons up because I... Nothing. I'm a dumbass. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Again, sometimes, for just some weird reason, in between one or two of these different methods that you try, you might have to restart your computer or unplug your controller and plug it back in and just, uh, yeah. It's a pain in the ass. But at least we found a way to fix it again. The easiest way go to Steam, Settings, Big picture. See, okay, it thinks it's a Xbox controller. Now. Yeah, always make sure that that is not a mouse cursor. That is number one. And also, while we're at it, might as well check something out really cool. I guess you can only find this in big picture mode. But... Wait. Ah! When you click that, click your PS4 controller, and you go to Preferences, you can make your light bar whatever color you want. I put mine on red. That way you know your controller is actually working, Steam recognizes it whenever you see it turn red, or whatever color you like it. And then you can uh, try DS4 Windows or something else. like a uh, right clicking as long as your controller is connected add a steam controller for configuration and get that fucking mouse off of there yeah none boom and that's all you need. And one more thing you can try. I'm going to go over real quick about how I got Securo to work with my PS4 controller. This guy right here, he has a video on how he uses Input Mapper. So uh, I just wanted to give him a shout out. Thank you, Jordan. And, uh, Hopefully one of us could help you out. Have a great day, guys. Sorry if this video was a little long. And, uh... Yeah, let me know if any of these work for any of you. As always, have a great day. Bye-bye.